Welcome and bienvenue to Tulane University. This top tier research university is home to some of the happiest students and is consistently ranked as the top public service university in the country, according to the Princeton Review. Tucked under shady oak trees, Tulane claims the most one of a kind city as its home, New Orleans. With New Orleans' deep cultural roots and Tulane's super involved student life, it's easy to find your home here. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and over the next half hour, we're gonna travel around this unique campus to meet real students going to Tulane right now. We're gonna hear stories from students from all over the country, athletes, artists, and much, much more. As they say down here, let the good times roll and roll wave. Let's go check out Tulane University. This is the College Tour. All right, y'all, it's time to meet Kennedy. She's a senior here from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. She's on the pre-med track and pursuing a dual degree in neuroscience and dance, which makes her the perfect person to talk to us about Tulane's academic flexibility. Kennedy, you're up. Hi, Alex. When applying to college, I was dreading making the difficult decision between my love for dance and science. Both have been incredible passions of mine since I was little. When I was looking for a college experience, I knew I wanted something that would allow me the chance to explore and also determine what truly inspires me. Getting accepted to Tulane meant that I didn't have to choose one over the other. The beauty in this comes from the fact that once you're accepted into Tulane, you can take classes in all five of our undergraduate schools. The School of Liberal Arts, science and engineering, public health, business, and architecture. What's even better is Tulane encourages cross-disciplinary study. You can see this through programs like the Altman program, which allows you to get a dual degree in business and liberal arts and going abroad twice. Also, we have the Creative Pre-Medical Scholars, which allows you to get early admission into Tulane's medical school. Having it all meant that I could receive an academic foundation on dance while still discovering what in the science was meant for me. That ended up being neuroscience. Moving forward, I will never settle for less because here at Tulane, I have had the incredible chance to have the abundance in opportunities and flexibility. Graduating with a bachelor's in arts and a bachelor's in science in just four short years opens up a world of possibilities for me. And I am excited to see what comes next. Now, back over to you, Alex. Wow, Kennedy, whether you end up pursuing medicine or dance, I'm sure you are going to kill it. I'm glad to hear that students can pursue their passions here at Tulane. That was fantastic, great job. All right, let's meet Sarah. She's a senior here from Potomac, Maryland, and she's gonna tell us all about student organizations here at Tulane, plus some of the clubs and projects she's part of on campus. Take it away, Sarah. Hey everyone, when I was in high school, I was part of student government, I wrote for the school newspaper, and I played soccer. It was important to me to find that same sort of extracurricular well-roundedness and flexibility in college, and I definitely found it at Tulane. Everyone's a part of a ton of different organizations on campus. So when I first got to school, I went to the Activities Expo, where I signed up to be a DJ for WTUL New Orleans, which is our radio station on campus that broadcasts to the entire city. I also got together a bunch of my friends from my freshman year floor to play on an intramural soccer team, and we still play on it today. That year, for fall break, I went backpacking with Tulane Outdoor Adventures. I then applied to be a guide for them, so I now plan, budget, and then lead trips throughout the Southeast US for other Tulane students. This past year, a friend and I, along with a couple professors, have been working on a project to bring solar energy to Tulane's campus through our Sustainability Committee of Student Government. With over 200 student organizations on campus, there's something for everyone. And if you can't find something you like, you can always start your own club or organization. This past year, I had some friends who started a roller skating club on campus. We also have social and professional Greek organizations, as well as a community service co-ed fraternity. You really can't walk down McAllister without some club promoting their upcoming events or students campaigning about something they're passionate about. 
and it's always fun to stop and talk to students to see what everyone's up to on campus. The way you spend your time here, outside of your academics, is just as important as your study time. Isn't that right, Alex? That's right, Sarah. Wow, you really can do just about anything at Tulane. Sarah, thanks for telling us all about student organizations here and showing us how easy it is to get involved in something you're passionate about on campus. Thanks, Sarah. Okay, everyone, now let's head over to meet up with Garrett. Garrett is a junior from Columbus, Ohio, double majoring in computer science and mathematics with a minor in environmental science. Garrett can't wait to tell you about campus life and all the opportunities for getting involved at Tulane. Garrett, we have questions and you have answers. Please take it away. Thank you, Alex, and hello, everyone. Like many Tulaneans, I entered my college search looking for a stunning campus in an exciting city that was new to me. I also wanted a friendly, driven, and passionate student body in a collaborative learning environment inclusive to all. Coming into my third year here, I've seen time and time again how perfectly Tulane lies at the intersection of each of these qualities to create an engaging and unique student experience. Students come from all 50 states and from over 50 countries to attend Tulane. My freshman year suite mates were from San Francisco, Philadelphia, Chicago, and Memphis. We were assigned randomly, but students can also apply to an RLC, learning communities built around a shared interest. Another way that I connected with other students was through my first year seminar class, Tides. I took a 15-person class on the causes and consequences of sea level rise my very first semester. It finished with a kayaking trip through a bayou that inspired me to pursue environmental studies as a minor. At Tulane, you will never be bored. Campus programming hosts concerts, speakers, and festivals like our very own Crawfest, our student-run music festival that features over 20,000 pounds of crawfish. Just across the street is the incredible Audubon Park, and beyond that is the Fly, a Riverview Park along the Mississippi where students go to watch the sunset on Fridays. My time at Tulane has given me so much more than just an education. I've developed amazing friendships with people from around the world. I've grown a valuable network across an inspiring and diverse community, and I've learned so much from each student I've encountered along the way, all thanks to the unique opportunities that Tulane and New Orleans have provided me. Throwing it back to you, Alex. Garrett, that was awesome. It's so fun to hear about the collaborative environment and eclectic campus programming that truly allows students to create lasting friendships and relationships with one another. Fostering these connections with your peers really allows Tulane students to have an immersive campus experience. Thanks so much, Garrett. Okay, everyone, next we're going to meet Patricia, who's going to tell us how Tulane has worked in recent years to become more diverse and to better support BIPOC, first generation, and other underrepresented students. Patricia, you're on. Hi, y'all. I'm a senior on the pre law track from Birmingham, Alabama. I'm so grateful that Tulane pointed me in the direction of my true passion. I grew up in the birthplace of the civil rights movement, but my studies here at Tulane made everything come full circle. This past semester, I took preventing discrimination as a business. This determined my drive to become a civil rights attorney. From friends to professors, I've learned the importance of diversity on campus. Diversity in thought, in experience, and in culture. Tulane understands that in order to make our campus more inclusive for all, we must first create a more equitable experience for our BIPOC, first generation, and other underrepresented students. On the student life side, Tulane supports offices such as the Caroline Barber Pierre Center for Intercultural Life, which houses the Office of Gender and Sexual Diversity, the Office of Multicultural Affairs, and the Office of Religious Life. Academically, Tulane has a Center for Academic Equity, supporting students through enrichment opportunities and need-based support. Some CAE programs include the Resource Lending Library, First Gen Mentorship, and Grant Funding. Another support system is the Goldman Center for Student Accessibility, which provides testing, housing, and other accommodations. Students always have a place on campus to claim as their own. With our intercultural center stores open at all times, we want our students to feel comfortable as soon as they step on our campus. From the multicultural leadership retreat at the beginning of the school year to events throughout the year, we work to create true community on our campus. 
Being part of a university that is working to become more inclusive and supportive for all makes me proud to be a Tulanean. And I can't wait to see what our future holds for us. Back to you, Alex. Patricia, it's incredible hearing the passion you bring to Tulane, and I have no doubt you will make a killer civil rights attorney. And thanks for telling us how Tulane is working to become more inclusive for all students. Cheers, Patricia. All right, now let's meet Bethany, a senior majoring in finance and accounting and minoring in architecture. She's gonna tell us how easy it is for students to connect with their professors, which isn't something you'll find at every school. Bethany, please take it away. Hey y'all, I'm a senior from Dallas, Texas, and I'm studying finance and accounting. When I'm not in class, you can find me working in the admissions office, helping students as a TA, and staying involved in Greek life. I also raised a black lab named Forrest to become a service dog through a Tulane program called Two Step. At Tulane, we have an eight to one student to faculty ratio. I saw what that actually meant when it came to figuring out what I want to do with my life. I started school determined to become an architect, but I quickly realized it wasn't for me. Before my sophomore year started, I began looking into other majors and I was stressed about how I would get into my classes and still graduate on time. My worries were quickly resolved upon reaching out to my academic advisor. She helped me get in touch with faculty in the business school, and I had professors calling me over the summer to talk to me about my career goals. When I officially decided I wanted to study finance and accounting, I was put in touch with the registrar, Colette, and she worked tirelessly to get me into every class I wanted. One of those classes happened to be taught by her sister, Christine, the head of the accounting department. Today, I'm lucky enough to work in the same building as Colette, so I see her all the time. We even grab coffee together every once in a while. Christine has been my professor for two of my accounting courses, and I TA for her every semester. These women have been influential to my success at Tulane, and they truly embody what the school means when we talk about approachable and helpful faculty and staff. What's next, Alex? Thank you, Bethany. I loved hearing your story about how wanting to switch your major landed you a cool job TA and as an undergrad. Really impressive stuff. The relationships between students and faculty at Tulane really do go a long way. Thanks again, Bethany. Next up, we have the one and only Mickey Mickle. How great is that name? Mickey is a sophomore from Birmingham, Alabama, majoring in political science with minors in French and Africana studies. She's gonna tell us about research, internships, and the resources that go along with supporting students through those opportunities. Mickey, the floor is all yours. Thanks for that introduction, Alex. I applied to Tulane as a pre-med student, but in the months leading up to my first semester, my career path took a complete 180 and I switched to pre-law. After years of preparing for a STEM-heavy course load, I had no idea how to navigate the world of social sciences and liberal arts. Despite my worries, I met Dr. Mahoney, who taught a course on leadership in New Orleans. We developed a close relationship, and at the end of the semester, Dr. Mahoney hired me as a research assistant for a project in conjunction with Christopher Clark and Nadia Brown, researching black women in legislative caucuses. Her research was directly in line with my areas of study in political science and Africana studies. I now help her study voting records to find these women's influence on their fellow Congress members and how they will impact future legislators. Next semester, we'll have the opportunity of a lifetime and we'll interview Congresswomen to get direct insight and knowledge for our research. My spring semester, I gained another position with the Newcomb Institute Reproductive Rights Internship, and I submitted my application to be a digital development intern for the podcast Black Feminist Rants. BFR is a reproductive justice podcast that discusses activism and black feminism while centering the experience of black women and femmes navigating social justice spaces and the world. In just one year, I was able to find internships and research positions that allowed me to explore my fields hands-on. These opportunities are widely available here at Tulane and we make it so easy to balance them with your course load. I'm so honored to be a part of such incredible projects. Thanks so much and back to you, Alex. 
Wait, Mickey, you're telling me that research isn't just someone in a lab coat doing science stuff? It's that and more? Wow, that's awesome that Tulane encourages and supports students to do research and internships of all kinds, no matter what year in school you are. Thanks, Mickey, that was fantastic. It's time to meet a Louisiana native. Lindsay is a senior at Tulane, originally from New Iberia, Louisiana, and is a proud Cajun. She's excited to talk to us about the amazing experience going to college in New Orleans can offer and how Tulane is working to bring more talented students from their home state to campus. Let's go, Lindsay. Thanks, Alex. Hey, y'all. I'm from a small Cajun town in Southern Louisiana. So if there's one thing I can confidently say, it's that I know good food. Since being here, I've had the opportunity to explore the cuisine, culture, and community that makes the Big Easy feel like home. New Orleans has more restaurants than one could possibly try in the span of a college career. And I have an ever-evolving list of places to try before I leave. Here, food calls for celebration. Each year, Louisiana hosts over 400 festivals around the state, 130 of which are held in New Orleans. One you might have heard of is Mardi Gras, but there are countless other food festivals like Crawfest and Mac and Cheese Fest. And Tulane's location in uptown New Orleans is perfect because we're close to the action, but not right by Bourbon Street. Part of what makes Tulane so unique is our location in Louisiana. To further our commitment to our home state, Tulane launched a new program to support Louisiana students like me. Thanks to the Louisiana Promise, any resident under qualifying circumstances has the opportunity to graduate with no loans. On top of this, Tulane opened the Louisiana Center for College Access to provide free college readiness courses to aspiring first-generation college students. As a tour guide, I get asked why I chose Tulane a lot. What I answer instead is what I'll miss about being a Tulanean. The random streetcar rides to get beignets at midnight on a Tuesday. Wondering if there will be a jazz band in our dining hall during football season. And the endless joy of being swept up by the food and music of the city. Alex, tell us more. Awesome job, Lindsay. You're a great ambassador for Louisiana. I love that Tulane is working to keep more great students like you in state. And I can't wait to come back and visit one of those food festivals sometime soon. That was awesome. Take care. Next up, we have Lance, a senior from Mobile, Alabama, majoring in communication and anthropology and minoring in French. He's going to tell us about the thriving art scene at Tulane and in New Orleans. Let's hear it, Lance. Hey, y'all. Back in high school, I was a part of my school's choir and I spent a good bit of my time singing. Coming to college, I knew I wanted to continue my involvement with music, whether it be through academics or extracurriculars. Here at Tulane, the arts are accessible to all students regardless of their major. Although I didn't end up majoring in music, I still had the opportunity to stay involved. During my first year, I became a member of Green Envy, one of Tulane's seven a cappella groups. Through Green Envy, I've had the opportunity to perform at many Tulane events, like festivals and commencement, and I've also performed at many local New Orleans events, like Pelicans NBA games. You can always find live music on Tulane's campus and across the city of New Orleans. Some of my favorite music festivals include Voodoo Fest and Jazz Fest. We love our music here, and we appreciate the rest of the arts just as much. In fact, Tulane offers dance, theater, and studio art majors taught by industry leaders. If you're interested in the arts, you'll have the opportunity to take classes ranging from acting to ballet to glass blowing. I'll have you know, Tulane is home to the largest glass blowing studio on any college campus in the country. When you come to Tulane, you'll have every opportunity to get involved with the arts in any way you'd like. I may have spent my time singing and jamming out to some great music, but who knows what you'll accomplish once you're here. All right, y'all, that's all from me. Alex, take it away. Whoa, Lance, it is amazing learning how you were able to continue pursuing your passion in music, even though you wanted to major in something else. There really are no limits to what you can do right here at Tulane. Thanks again, Lance. 
Now introducing Journey. Journey is a sophomore studying political science with a concentration in pre-law and a minor in philosophy. We're gonna head over to Yulman Stadium, home to Tulane's football team, the Green Wave. There, Journey will tell you about the sports culture and school spirit here at Tulane. Take it away, Journey. Hey y'all, and a hell of a hell of a loop. Growing up, I always had my college experience planned out. I knew that I wanted to attend a college that had everything from great academics to a great social scene and a great cheer team. I love how here at Tulane, you can be whoever you want to be. Most of the time, I choose to be in cheerleader mode. Coming into Tulane, I was nervous as to if I would even fit in, but after putting on the cheer uniform for the first time, I knew that I was in the right place. I feel very supported on and off the field by the Tulane Athletics Department. Through Tulane Athletics, every student athlete will leave Tulane with a toolkit full of resources that they can use in their professional lives and their future athletic endeavors. Even if you aren't a varsity athlete, you can still find a way to stay active through club sports or intramural sports. Here at Tulane, we have over 30 club sports and 13 intramural leagues. It's a great way to make friends and have fun. As a fan, students can attend any athletic event for free. We have a great football game day experience here in Yulman Stadium with tailgating on the quad beforehand. The basketball games are a ton of fun and our baseball team is nationally competitive. With so many teams doing so well over the last few years, you can really feel the school spirit around campus. I'm happy to say that I've found a home within Tulane, the athletics department, and the entire university. Roll wave, and back to you, Alex. Journey, that is incredible. Great job, and thanks for sharing your own experience as a student athlete. Whether it's a Division I sport or an intramural team that plays on the weekend, it sounds like anyone can get involved in Tulane's sports culture. Good luck on the cheer team this year, Journey. That was fantastic. Take care. Okay, up next, we're gonna introduce you to Yael, a senior majoring in political science and philosophy with a minor in public health. Like many other students at Tulane, Yael has a passion for public service. So she's gonna tell you a bit about Tulane's service learning requirement. Take it away. Thanks, Alex. Hey, everyone. I chose Tulane because of the outstanding academic programs, the mid-sized campus, and the magical city of New Orleans. My favorite part ended up being my amazing supportive peers who share my love for community engagement. Something unique about Tulane is that we have service components tied into our classes. My first service learning class was called Intro to Women's Imprisonment. We traveled to the Louisiana Correctional Facility for Women, and we would work with the women there on their final English papers. Back at Tulane, we wrote policy reports that we later presented to a prison reform committee in Baton Rouge made up of judges, police officers, and politicians. This class was one of the most challenging and demanding courses I have ever taken, but also the most rewarding. What's awesome is that every Tulane student has a story like mine. Tulane was the first R1 university to include service as a graduation requirement. Students can take service learning classes, join service extracurriculars, or pursue internships through our Center for Public Service. I love that our projects are not just short volunteerism trips. CPS partners with over 600 service organizations in the New Orleans area, and last year our students put in over 225,000 hours of service. We are consistently ranked the number one school by Princeton Review for community engagement in the country. Tulane is a place that allows you to grow, change, and create everlasting memories. I have been able to create a family here at Tulane while also connecting with our amazing city. Well, that's it for me. Back to you, Alex.
Thanks so much for sharing your public service experience with us, Yael. I can't believe the number of organizations the Center for Public Service partners with in the city. Wow, that is incredible. It sounds like students have a lot of service options to choose from, which is fantastic. Thanks again, Yael. All right, y'all, how awesome is Tulane? I want to thank all these wonderful Tulaneans for giving their time so that you can learn more about their school. I really enjoyed my time here on campus and in the Big Easy, and I hope you have too. So that's all from me. Now it's your turn to go research more about Tulane. These students are incredible. This campus is beautiful. It's truly a remarkable university. Okay, take care everyone. Hope to see you on campus real soon. Cheers.